What's happening? Uh, we have sort of a problem here. All right, some people are so much fun to work with that you actually look forward to seeing their faces every day, and others, well, you may wish they worked somewhere else, as many of us remember from this clip in Office Space. And it is great to be a memorable coworker, as long as, as it's for all of the right reasons. And Morag Barrett from HR Consultancy Sky Team is here with us this morning to tell us um, how you can be one of those fun people that people like to work with. Thanks for being here, Morag. We Thanks appreciate for it. Me. Okay, so what are your tips? I mean, we do have some grumps who work around here, like any place, <laughs> and then we have others. So. I mean, what do you want to be if you are coming to work every day? Well, as you said in the opening, I think we all want to be the person that people look forward to working with versus that person where there's a sigh of relief when they leave or they go mm -hmm. on vacation. And the key is to pay attention. Okay, so what should we do? Well, I think it's easy to come into work every day and focus on the task at hand. Put our heads down and get our stuff done, the what of business. What we need to do is focus also on how business gets done. So lift our head up and take notice of our colleagues and co-workers. And the first piece of advice is fairly straightforward. It's to be friendly. And it is such a basic common sense thing, but it's important. It can make a difference with the boss and with your co-workers. Absolutely. If you just rush through the door to your desk, then people are going to start writing stories and making assumptions, either that you're standoffish or there's a, a crisis happening in the workplace. And all you know is you've got to get that PowerPoint done. You've got to get that report written. Instead, stop, say hello, greet your colleagues, smile. <laughs> it's going to make a real difference. And you say to be cooperative as well. Absolutely. T uh, the world of work is the biggest team sport we ever get to play in. And so being cooperative is when people are coming and asking for help, turn and give them their, their, your attention. Volunteer your input advice to help others to be successful. And what about uh, just being able to show off our expertise? Sometimes that requires some extra effort. It does. It's paying attention. You, you are hired because of your expertise, but you need to keep it up to date. So whether that's watching TED Talks, reading trade journals, attending workshops if your company provides those, but keep your expertise up to date. That way you'll be the go-to person, not the go-from person. Oh, nobody wants to be the go-from no. person. <laughs> and then lastly, really quickly, you say do show good judgment. Yes, yeah, so make decisions, offer your opinion, but know when to balance speaking up to keeping it to yourself or speaking offline, whether it's with your boss or your colleague, if you're uncertain. All right. Thank you so much, Marek. So, Thank Tom, you. did you hear that? Know when to zip it. I kind of had the feeling that whole thing was about me. <laughs> All right, ahead at the top of